Hello everyone. Today we are going to see an example on a crush analysis of a tube with square cross section. Frontal rails of a vehicle structure are the primary energy absorbing components during an event of frontal crash. The action mode of crushing is designed to ensure efficient crash energy absorption and this ideal situation can be displayed through the current example. The aim of this tutorial is to simulate actual mode of failure of simple extruded aluminum tube with square cross section using MSC SIM expert. Some important results uh, shall be obtained and analyzed during post processing. So for the exercise steps, first we will create a surface geometry of our desired model. Then the surface will be meshed using the surface measure option. We will then go on to create material and its physical properties and assign these properties to our meshed model. Define the boundary conditions, constraints and contacts. We shall then define parameters to control the simulation and output results. And finally run the simulation and analyze the results. In this part of the video we will cover the setting of geometry and boundary conditions for the analysis. So first step is to create surface geometry that is of course a square cross section tube side 80 and then 500 millimeters. We go to geometry, polyline, check on the closed option and enter the coordinates of vertices of a square as shown. So these are the coordinates. Make sure the coordinates are uh, separated by semicolon. Now we can see four points being displayed on our graphic window. Now we click OK and get a closed profile which is a square with side 80 millimeters. We shall now sweep this profile to create a tubular surface. We set the sweeping direction to be specified along an axis which is X in this case. Length of the sweep would be 500 millimeters and select the profile to auto execute this command. Now we can see this profile has been created. We should now create a mesh for this surface geometry. So click the meshing tab in the tool ribbon and go to the surface measure. Select the surface we created as a surface to mesh and then set the element size to 5 millimeters and click OK. So by turning off the geometry display we can now see the meshed model. We shall now create material and physical properties for our model. Go to material and properties in load curve menu. From S to S select stress strain plastic. To add data click add number of times corresponding to the number of instances your data contains. It can be entered manually or it can be pasted from an external file. In this case it has been pasted from an excel sheet. For scaling factors, for abscissa enter 1 and for ordinate also enter 1. Click update to preview the curve and uh, create. We will now define the material properties for our model which in this case is an aluminium alloy. Materials and properties MAT24. We now enter the values for a mass density. Young's modulus, Poisson's ratio is 0.3, the yield stress and we can select the load curve that we already defined from the model browser, so option 1 or option 2, we can select it from the drop down menu, click OK. Uh, we are now going to define the shell element parameters in materials and properties under element properties uh, section, section shell. We are going to change the shear correction factor to 1 and number of integration points to 5. The thickness of a shell element set for each node is 2.5 millimeters as you can see. The element formulation is uh, left as 2 which is the default BT type shell. Uh, this is a very uh, efficient formulation with less accuracy and to increase uh, this the number of through thickness integration points are set to 5 
this will obviously increase our computation time click ok we will now assign the properties to our model from the model browser double click on your part and we can see a window through which we can modify now under the section ID double click to see the list of uh, element definition in this case there is only one select that and say ok in the same manner we assign the material ID to our model select our predefined parameter and say ok and finally modify we will now define the contact and set the boundary conditions first we will create a contact definition in this case the option auto single surface is being used click automatic in the LBC tab and then select auto single surface just click OK now to constrain our model first we align our model to left view now we go to LBC single point constraints then boundary SPC keep options checked for constraining translation and rotation along all axes click exit zoom to the portion of the model where we want our constraints to be fixed keep the selection type as nodes now select the set of nodes towards the rear of our model click done and then exit we can now see that the boundary conditions have been applied we will now create a rigid wall of planar type staying in the LBC's tab we go to rigid wall planar then in options we select the type of rigid wall as moving forces in order to define the plane we will first uh, enter the coordinates of the origin as minus one zero zero to keep a distance of one millimeter from the shell edge and avoid any penetration and orientation as YZ we now enter the friction as 1 mass 0 0.8 tons or 800 kgs and initial velocity V0 as 8000 millimeters per second then click OK with this we end this part and will cover the setting up of simulation control parameters and analysis of results in our next video